guys, how are you doing? So I'm currently in our indoor outdoor room and as you guys know, we have been turning this house into a home and I was super excited to see that this house came with this sort of like lanai room and it is perfect for like date nights for the kids to hang out in to sort of enjoy the florida weather but not be so susceptible to the weather elements here and i said damn for valentine's day what i want is i want this room to feel peaceful and special and i knew the first thing that needed to happen we for sure needed to have a better quality ambient light so i got these right here i'm very excited about it i wanted to do some sort of like twinkle light but i knew i needed something that would be super extra durable because of the weather that we do have here and so i ended up going with the eufy dual led with ai endless possibility permanent outdoor lights and it's a 30 meter string which is a hundred feet this will be perfect to just do the perimeter of this room and we not only can choose to have a cool toned light or a more yellow toned light but we can also do a bunch of different colors and i kind of want to see what i can do for valentine's day so let's open up this package together kind of see what we're working with we're going to be putting them up today i'll show you guys kind of how that goes and we can chat more about it and you can kind of see the before and after and what it looks like things that I really love about the application process of these is that it's just stickers so they're very strong adhesive and you just peel the backs and stick them right on and then I also like that it's not all one strip so you don't need to use all of them if you don't want to I totally thought that I was going to need Dan's help to put these up, but I don't. They are so simple, guys, and look how good it already looks. How cool is this? This is the Valentine's Day like light set. Something I also haven't mentioned about these lights is that you can do everything that you need to do with them from your phone. They have an app and you can go on there and you can have a light show. You can do preset. So you can say, you know, at this time for the day, I want the lights to turn on and I want them to turn off at this time. They have like the 4th of July, different settings for Halloween. Uh, they have so many different holidays, so you can always be super festive if you want to. But not only that, you can also just have a really good quality lighting, whether it is indoors, outdoors, whether you're on your patio or you're using these as your permanent lights on your home. They are permanent lights, so easy to install, totally DIY affordable and this this entire perimeter of our outdoor room was only three strands of lights in the whole package and there's probably i would say about 70 60 to 70 percent of lights still left so you for sure get a lot of lights in case you guys were wondering how beautiful it looks at nighttime this is the warm light and so we just sit out and we watch a TV show and we get cozy. If you would like to check out these permanent LED lights by Eufy, I'm going to put a link in the description box below. Also, thank you to Eufy for sponsoring today's video. It's always a pleasure to work with awesome brands that make awesome products. And I know you guys would really like this company. Good morning. It is the next day i kind of left you guys hanging there a little bit after doing the shelving and that's because like a crazy person i basically just started getting stuff done again um but i can definitely walk around with you and kind of show you guys what i've accomplished so far it's a lot this place is for sure starting to really feel like a home it makes me really excited because of how much more affordable this house is than our last home. Um, and it just makes me happy. Like, I'm just happy. I'm feeling way better. 
What I should do soon is buy a plant. And I know that sounds silly, but to be honest with you, it will be a big deal for me to purchase a plant here because I talked about this a little bit on my Instagram, but I was feeling so low. Maple has zoomies inside the house. <laughs> Um, I was feeling so low in Texas. I just didn't want to buy any plants or anything. Um, I just kind of felt, I don't know. I don't know what I felt. I just, it was almost like I was just consistently in survival mode. And the last thing that I wanted to focus on was trying to keep something else alive. And... I thought that that was like a weird concept, but I actually had a lot of people in like my personal life, but then also online as well, reach out to me and be like, I thought that I was the only one who experienced that, but that's exactly how I felt, you know, when this happened to me or when that happened to me. Like, it almost feels like plants in your home are an extension of who you are and like your inner health. And then like, but like, this is for like a certain type of person who like is capable of keeping plants alive. So like, I don't want people to like think that I'm trying to imply that if you're not capable of keeping plants alive, <laughs> you're not a healthy person. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm just saying is like, when I was in Connecticut, I was really happy and like thriving and I just felt pulled to like, bring in like fresh air and clean oxygen and just like I don't know just like have living things all around me and then being in Texas I was going through such a difficult time that I just found myself not wanting to ever bring plants into the home and then now that being in Florida I keep catching myself being like this would be a nice place to have a pl like a plant or this would be a nice place to have a plant and it's just like a really meaningful thing for me personally to be in a position where I'm starting to feel open to that sounds crazy some people are gonna get it some people aren't gonna understand it all but that's how I'm feeling um, it, so it would be really nice to get some sort of, like, live living plant today. I have a bunch of errands that I want to run. Bunch of stuff to do today with all of my children, so that's going to be exciting. <laughs> um, I'm being sarcastic, but yeah, they're fine. They're, they're totally okay out and about. They have their moments, but... For the most part, they do a good job listening. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go run a bunch of errands right now. Oh, that's gonna spill. Ugh, what? What do you have too? What is that? I think Maple got to our rainbow, our rope rainbow. Maple, did you eat our rope rainbow? It's not very nice of you. We're just over here trying to live, laugh, love rainbows, okay? We just chew on them. Good morning, everyone. It's a Wednesday. And today is just another day of us doing things in this home to try to make a house into a home. This should be a series. A house into a home series. Last night I put these up. So we're officially back in biz. Um, yes, I need to update one, clearly. Dad? Yes. Scouty, we need Dad. to update that. <coughs> yeah, he left. Say hi. We have a lantern just in case power goes out. There's no reason for power to ever go out right now, but just in case. Just in case. In case. Just in case. 
We're gonna do a little bit of a tour today. Got some packages yesterday. I waited until we got here in Florida for me to order stuff that they needed for school. Willa's knee highs. Got six pairs of knee highs. Boxers for Cooper. And then I had to get these little French toast Peter Pan shirts for Willa's school uniform. So I got, how many did I get? Four? I got four of those. Let's hope those can last all week. The, the week of school. Um, and I'm probably yeah. going to have to get more, but uniforms cost me $500. So <coughs> we're just going to, what are you doing? We're just going to allow that to be $500. We're just going to make do. What? When did this baby become the length of my body? You're like a little toddler. How'd that happen? What are you looking at? You don't know? Yes. Yeah, you can't have it. That's my phone. Ready? Yeah. Oof. Out of the camera. View. Okay. No, 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 no. It's his favorite pastime is opening up these cabinets. I gotta figure out like a thing to close them. I'm just gonna move these out of the way since that's, the mugs are really the only thing you can get into. Okay. Okay, let's go put these in rooms. First, Willa's. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the